Pastor Deborah, I'm an ambassador. God sent me here. You know what? Your company may not be paying well, but you are there as an ambassador. You may be living in the river. Oh, we are going to go. What am I doing? What am I doing on this island? God sent me here. Glory be to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise God. So now, let, let, okay, let's go to the word of God we want to share with you today. Glory be to God. I just felt we, don't, we shouldn't let this one go, okay? Uh, it was supposed to be last month, but I will just share something around that nature with you today. Okay, now, uh, the title what I want to share with you is, uh, you know, just write, I agree with God. The Bible says two cannot work together unless they agree, right? Yes, uh -huh. and there are many people that want God to work with them, or they say they are working with God, and they are not in agreement with God. You can, Bible says two cannot. They cannot, not that they will not. It is impossible. They cannot work together. Unless they do what? Agree. Tell your neighbor, I agree, I agree. with God. With God. Hallelujah. Amen. And let that guide all of you. Guide you. You know, this, you know in this church, God has really blessed us to hear a lot of great things. You know, not in those days, I've seen people who got married who don't agree. You know, you must, before you marry, you agree. No, not that, agree, not that you agree to marry you. Anybody can agree to marry. You mean your, your ways must be agreeable. You must agree. Agree. It, it, it's for your peace. It's for the progress of the home. Are you hearing me? Yeah. To marry a witch, be a wizard. You, you must agree. Yeah, yeah. A pastor cannot marry a witch. You do, you, 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 your ways, you may do deliverance every day. You, your ways don't agree. I'm not saying witches should not marry, but witches should look for wizards. I'm married. They always agree. Let me look at it. all of you are looking at me smiling. No, you can't deny the right of witches to marry, but marry a wizard so that as we are flying like this, it will, it will, it will connect with you. <laughs> connect with you at that frequency at altitude. I mean, are you hearing me? Not that you be flying the man with be on ground. I said, where are you coming from? Ah. He said, no, I don't know. You know, no, no, no. You have to know, you know. So when, when she takes on you yourself, say, okay, we see in the morning, you too. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that your ways must agree. Glory be to God forevermore. If I child of God, you must agree with God. Say amen to that. Amen. You must agree with God. It, it, it works. It works. You know, do you know a lot of people wouldn't say, wouldn't say, I don't agree with God, or I disagree with God. What they do is neglect the things of God. They don't disagree because it's too, it's too stupid for a man to say, God, I disagree with you. But what they do is that they don't take it serious, you know. They just, they can't be bothered. That neglect of what God has said is disagreeing with God. Because if you really agree with it, it will be in your mind, it will control your behavior, it will guide what you do. Glory be to God forevermore. The Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? That means God has provided a way of salvation, but we just neglect it, you know. We just say, I have another way, you know. That's what happens to a lot of people. God has provided a way to, for, for prosperity, but we neglect it. God has provided a way for health, we neglect it. God has provided, provided a way for happiness, we neglect it. We just don't agree with it. We can find happiness somewhere else. God has provided direction for you by his spirit, which is quite easy. Whatever you are going to do that you don't have peace and there's trouble and there's tension, stop it. Are you hearing me? Sometimes, you know, uh, you know, the Bible says according to his will. Those are musical tunes. It's a chord, you know. It's chord. You understand what I'm talking about right now? If you play the wrong chord, you know, there'll be this tension that... Okay, the same thing, listen to me. When you are not doing the will of God, there's this tension. You can't be dating somebody and there's tension. Do you know somebody can even, you can even have a big house, there's tension. Do you know we cannot even, be, we will not be fighting, there's tension. Whatever you want to do that there's this tension, pull back. You understand what I'm talking about right now. But if you have this peace about it, go ahead. Are you hearing me? Now, what I was trying to do is that, so people neglect this leading. When you have this tension and you neglect, don't neglect that tension. It's God communicating something. Yes. Not every journey is compulsory. Yes. When there's tension, you don't know, but you can't place your hand on it. There's this tension. 
you stop it at that time until you get clarity. Is somebody here know what I'm talking about right now? There is this investment. It looks promising, but there is tension. Are you, you know what I'm talking about right now? Don't neglect it. Don't neglect it. It, it, it might harm you. Yes. Glory be to God forevermore. Yes. Don't neglect it. That's the point I'm trying to make. Not Oprah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. The Bible says, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? You know, some of you, God has told some of us the, the way to prosperity is to believe God and, and, and have favor with God and all those things and have favor with God and with men. But some of us, we still say no to that one. We still want to be crafty. We still want to cheat people. We still want to be dubious. That, will not, that is not the way. We will not give you peace. Some of you young ladies, you still want to run around, you, around men. Stop it. You understand what I'm talking about right now? Don't look straight. Just look. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the church. I know nothing. I'm just talking. So stop it. Are you hearing me? God has provided a way. So when somebody disagrees with God, he will not say, I disagree with God. You know that you will go ahead and create your own way. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I agree with God. Because that's the way of peace. That's the way of peace. Glory be to God forevermore. How many of you remember this story? Uh, uh, the story of, of Paul. When he was, uh, when he was uh, going to be done in, uh, sentenced to death unnecessarily because of the conniving of the Jews and the leaders. Remember how he was brought before Festus, before Felix, the, the, the governor, eventually before King Agrippa, remember? And when he saw that they were conniving, and they were going to sentence him to death unjustly. He said, what? I appeal to Caesar. Remember that story? And then they finally sent him to go uh, to, to Rome. Remember? And then they were about to go. And he told them that this journey, I perceive, is going to be dangerous. But they, they didn't hear what he was going to say. And then they embarked on that journey. Remember? And then the journey became very dangerous. Uh, give me uh, Acts 27. Verse, verse 1. I have a lot to share with you today. When it was decided that we, we should say to Italy, they delivered Paul and some other prisoners to, uh, to one named Julius, a centurion of Augustan regiment, to take them down to Rome. So entering a ship of what Adra, Adramitium, we put to sea, meaning to sail along the coasts of Asia. Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonica, was with us. Okay, and uh, you know, the next day we landed in Sidon and Julius treated Paul kindly and gave him liberty to go to, uh, to his friend and receive care, okay? When we are put to sea from there, we stay under the shelter of Cyprus because the winds were contrary, okay? And when we had sailed over the sea, which is off uh, Cilicia, Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Myra, a city of Lycia, okay? Go on. Uh, there the centurion found, found an Alexandrian ship sailing to Italy and he put us on board, Okay? When we had sailed slowly many days and arrived with difficulty of, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one, Sinidios or Nidios, whatever, or Sidios. Okay, or Kinidios. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. I know that. I know, I know one of the world is silent. I don't know which one. Okay. Uh, you know, the wind not permitting us to proceed, we sailed under the shelter of Crete of uh, Salmon. Okay. Passing with difficulty, we came to a place called Fair Heavens. Okay. We, we, which is where we are right now, the heavens. They came here. Okay. Near the city of Lacia. Okay. That is Metama. Okay. That's, oh, that used to be the Metama. Okay. <laughs> And when, and when much time has been spent and sailing was not dangerous because, of, because the fast was already over, Paul advised them. Look at what he said, verse 10. Say, men, this, they, that's how the American language started from, men. Okay, so, so men, I pass it. <laughs> that this voyage will end with what? Disaster. He didn't say God showed me how he passed When you have the spirit of God in you, your perception is strong. And your perception can be accurate. Glory be to God. Not the only of the cargo, says, this is where we disaster and much loss. Not the only of the cargo and ship, but also of our lives. But they, they wouldn't listen. They entered and then they ran into serious wahala on the road. Then jumped to verse 20. The verse 20. Now, when neither sun nor stars appeared for what? 
many days. They are they've been in storms for days and days. For many days. And no small tempests beat upon us. All hope that we should be saved was finally what? Given. Brothers and sisters, I know some of you have not gone through storms of life to this extent. But some of us have come close to that. Honestly, trust me. Some of us have come close to that. Whereby, you don't even desire life. I can't give you some background of certain things. But I remember one day entering the road and cars were hooting for me and I didn't hear any of them. I didn't hear. I wasn't driving, I was crossing. I was too enveloped in the storm I was going through that. I just entered the road like this. Pa, 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 pa. In fact, it was when I got to the other side, I had something. I had them do like this. I was like, what? What, man? <laughs> Glory be to God forevermore. Storms of life. I'm serious. <laughs> Since all hope that we should be saved was finally given up, you will not give up hope in Jesus' name. Amen. For twin that's jumped to the living, there is hope. Yes. There is hope. Hallelujah. Amen. Was finally given up. Verse 21. But after a long abstinence from food, I don't know whether this was a fast or because of the trouble. Appetite gone. I don't know. Don't let me say after fasting, after we got to fast, you can turn a doctrine out of what the Bible didn't say. The word here is nestavo, which is absence from food, absence from food. Whether it was deliberate, whether it's because of the trouble, because if you read later, it was more of trouble because Paul had to encourage everybody to eat later. Because it wasn't at all of them were fasting. Okay, see yourself. God has justified me. Thank God. With our appetite for both food and life, God, long gone. Uh-huh. So you can see his appetite, really. God has judged. Because that's why I, say, I don't like to make statements that I cannot prove. When they were fasting, because that's how religious people, you did, when you were in the storm, you start this your fast. Don't go and kill yourself. Even the fast can handle the storm. Because when you are not eating, there's no vision you won't see. I, I, I am a living proof. When, when we talk to you, don't be laughing. I know what I'm saying. You have very short. Anyway, let me just leave you. Fast. <laughs> I'm not again fasting. We are fasting this Wednesday. Yes, yes. I'm fasting again this Wednesday. But I don't just think, think every to religion. But after long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Man, Hey, I love Paul. He's an American. Men, you shall listen to me. I'm not upset from Crete and incur this disaster and what? And loss. My God. And now I urge you to do what? To take heart, my Lord. Somebody's hearing me here today. Take heart. Even if what you are going through was by your own creation, take heart. If the storm you are experiencing is because of your disobedience, you know what? Take heart. The love of God for you has not changed. Say amen to that. He hasn't changed. Say, take heart. For there will be no what? There will be no what? No loss of life among you, but only of the sheep. Say amen to that. I need two guys, not from this role. I need just two guys, normal two guys. Two two guys. Give me a protocol, two, two protocol guys. Yeah, two. Thank you. This is, you are, no, stay here. You are number one prophecy. Go on the stage, sorry. You are number one prophecy. He said, there shall be what? No loss of life. No loss of life. Say amen to that. He said, if he said something, there will be what? A loss of what? Or the sheep. Kai, I'm going far today, and I have a lot of scriptures. Whenever I stop, eh, I will just stop. Is that all right? He said, but there will be a loss of sheep, Right? You know, some of you are, hey, if it's God now, hey, 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 everything. If God said there will be a loss of sheep, there's something good that will come out of it. Yes. God is not evil. Trust me. Yes. Trust me. There will be a loss, he said there will be what? A loss of sheep. So we are the loss of sheep. Glory be to God. Let's, let's go on. Who is there? 
For there, where he was he making that statement? He said, For there stood by me this night an angel of, 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 of the God. Okay, please give me King James Version. I don't know what happened. <laughs> For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I do what I serve. Okay, back to the, to the good Bible. Okay. You know King James Version. Say, do not what? Be afraid. Paul. You must be brought before what? Caesar. You must be brought before what? Caesar. Okay. Ah, don't let me. That it will take our time. I don't want to go into that. It's far. Let, let me let me let me let me leave that. And indeed, God has granted you what? All those who are, who sail with you. That is a confirmation that there shall be no loss. Right? I don't need to repeat that. Okay. Then, verse twenty-five. Therefore, do what? Take heart, man. For I believe what God, haha, that it will, it will be what just as it was told. Tell your neighbor it shall be, it shall be just, just as the Lord, as the Lord told, me. told me. As He told that you're going to prosper, yeah. it shall be just as the Lord told. Me. Look, sometimes we are going through the midst of certain things that the word of God will never come to pass. Declare in the midst of it. That look, I don't care what is going on, it shall be unto me just as the Lord told me. Not as the federal government said, not as the minister of health said, not as the employee the, the market said, not as the outlook said, but just as what as the Lord told me. That is how faith works. In the midst of what is going on around you, you hold on to what the Lord told you. Glory be to God forever. Man. It shall be unto me just as the Lord told me. Verse 26. He lists another prophecy. However, we must run aground on a certain word island. Please, a third guy. Island, come. Yeah, God bless you today. What's your name? Island. Oh, Richard. Oh, Richard. Today I find a Richard. Okay, please. Okay, Richard. Okay, no, no, sorry. Don't go and call him. Richard, do. That is the mistake. Ah, 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 look at all of you who mess up this thing. Where are you coming from? <laughs> you, need, you need a recharge. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Eh? Okay, no problem. I will just endure affliction. Let me just endure. <laughs> what? <laughs> let, me, let me calm down. <laughs> okay, let me, come, let me continue. Okay. You know, uh, his, his name is called Richard, okay? Not Richard. Like my sister was calling her boyfriend, Richard, Richard. Ah. <laughs> my name is not Richard. My name is, uh, my name is not Richard. My name is Richard. He said, yes, no, that's what I said, Richard. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. So, that's Richard. No loss of life. Loss of sheep. Granded on what? On an island. And he said, in the midst of all this all, I believe God. That it shall be unto me as it was told me. That there shall be no loss of life. I agree. That the sheep will be lost, I agree. That will be granted on certain island, but that they'll be, they'll be granted on that island. It's also a purpose. Some of you always, you are always afraid of God. Don't be afraid of God. If whatever God says, eh, if it doesn't even sound good at the moment, it will, be, it will turn out to be good. I know exactly, I will prove all this to you. That's why you must agree. You know, because some of you, you know, like, don't be like, because when sometimes certain men must agree with certain men. Like a man that had accident, that, that came and told him, that his friend came and comforted him in the hospital and told him, see, this is God, God is trying to slow you down. That's why I allowed this. The guy looked at him and said, as we are talking, my spirit is rejecting you. 
That's what the guy told. He said, as we are talking, my spirit is rebelling against you. Our spirit can rebel against people with wrong spirits. It is allowed. But if God said it, even if I not sound good, I tell you the end will be good. Say amen to that. Amen. Honestly, the end will be good. Don't worry. Never doubt the goodness and the intentions of God. He said, I know the thought I'm thinking towards you. Thought of good. It may not sound good, but I'm telling you, something good will come out of it. Say amen to that. It's going to be like the parable of Samson. He told them, uh-uh. he said, out of the strong, came out something what sweet. So out of, so, so, I mean, did know before that time, he had killed a lion. And out of the carcass of the lion, some honey, there's some, some, some bees, they made honey there. And when it was coming out, he ate the honey from the same carcass. I'm telling you guys, it might not smell nice, but something good will come out of it. Say amen to that. So don't worry, if God is in it, something good will come out of it. Glory be to God forevermore. We are not afraid of the intentions of God. His thoughts towards us are always good. Say amen to that. Amen. Let's read on. I can't go to all the scriptures I want to read today, but let's go on. But I hope you are learning something gradually, right? Yeah. Now, verse 20, uh, okay, let's, let's continue. Just continue reading. Now, when 14th night had come, can you, the 14th night had come, as we were driven up and down in the, in, in the what in the Adriatic Sea, about midnight the sailors sensed that they were, dry, they were drawing near some land. Okay, <laughs> you know, my God, this is nice. They have told them no loss of life. They have told them they should be lost. They have told them they be, be marooned on certain island, right? Then, as they were going, like everything just changed all of a sudden. As if everything was going good. I said, but they just said they were drawing, drawing near land. We are going to escape finally. You know. And they took sandings. That's it. They dropped their, uh, that in to measure the depth. Now, I found out it was about, about, 20, uh, about 20 fathoms. That would be like about 150 feet or something, you know. And when 120, oh, 120 feet. Fine, I tried. I said 150, 120. Close. Okay, let's go. No. No, it's the second one that is uh, 120. First one was 150. 150. I oh, got 90. The other, that's the version I said 150, they want, but forget it. Death. They took the sanding, okay, found 20 fathom, when they are uh, again, fine. Then, fearing, lest we should run aground on rocks, they dropped four anchors from the stand and prayed for the day to come. They went to the back, you know, because they were running and they don't know the rocks that lie at the, at the coast, at the, uh, you know. So what they did that they dropped the anchors to hold the ship from going further at the back. The stand is the back of the ship. They dropped it so that it would not go further. That's what they did. Okay. So they were waiting for the day to come so they can they could see clearly. As the sailors were seeking, uh, and, and as the sailors were seeking to escape from the sea, from the ship, because they sense danger, the, the sailors. When they had led down the skiff into the sea, you know now these are funny funny English. Skip is the, you know, that boat, those boats they attach to the, to the side so that you cut them off, you jump inside them. When the big one is in trouble, that one takes you away. That is the word, is, that is skiff. It's not the name of a brother. Okay. Now, uh, like boats, okay? Praise God. Go back, go back. Okay, okay. Look, look, I will read from there. Give me this one. I like it. Some of the sailors tried to jump, jump ship. They let down the live boat, pretending they were, they were going to set out some anchors from the boat, Okay. Paul saw through their guys and told the centurion and his soldiers, if these sailors don't stay with the ship, we are all going down. So the soldiers cut the lines <laughs> to the lifeboat and let it drift off. And you lie, you Where do you think you are going? A war. <laughs> let it drift. Let it drift. Are you hearing me? Glory be to God forevermore. And that's what some of you need to do with such people. Hallelujah. You see, they want to call the thing. <laughs> so, we're done about to break. Paul called everyone together and proposed breakfast. My God. This is the 14th day we've gone without food. None of us has felt like what? Eating. My God. But I urge you to eat something for whatever you are going through that has that made you to lose appetite. God will restore joy to your life. Amen. Honestly. 
God will restore joy to your life. Amen. Now, see a husband is quarreling with the husband. Yeah, there's still enough food in this house because there is appetite too. There are sometimes there will be food. There is no appetite for the food at all. My God. But I urge you to eat something. You will need strength for the rescue ahead. You are going to come out of this without what? Even a scratch. I say that. I say amen to that. Yeah. Whatever you are going through, you will come out of this without a scratch. Yeah. As a church, we will come out of everything without a scratch. Whatever the enemy meant for evil, God turns it around for good in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are a scratch. So he brought the bread, gave thanks to God, and passed it around. And uh, they all ate heartily. 226 of us. 76, sorry. 276 of us. 276, all told. Give me back my King James Version. Verse 38. New King James Version. No, okay. And in all, we were 276 persons on the ship. Okay. So when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and threw out the wheat into the sea. Because they are still trying to preserve the, the ship. Okay. To the sea. Where it was there, they did not recognize the land. My God. Father, thank you. Yes. You know, okay, let me just finish on this because I wanted to read a lot of scriptures, but the way it's going. How many of you that something has happened to you before in life that is so funny that you find it to recognize where you are? That now maybe this. You that before they just say 100,000 naira for pizza. You say, no, I hope 100,000 will be enough for pizza. Take, take 120. You that before, you know what I'm talking about right now. And they say they want to go, they want to go somewhere for everything. You know, they need 50,000. Well, in case the 50,000 will not be enough, just take 70. But right now you are in a land that you are managing 2,000 and you are calculating 5,000. You are in a land that you don't know. You, can't, you are wondering, which is, um, is it true? Is it me? The Bible said they don't recognize that they are in. Very soon, God will turn it around for you. Yeah. They don't recognize the land they were in. No, no, some of you don't understand that. You have not, some of you have not passed through it before now. I have. I know what I'm talking about. Whereby you had your own house, you had everything. Right now, you are sharing bed. And you are wondering, ah, what, what went wrong? Is it me? You couldn't even recognize where you were again. Wow. But they observe a bay with a beach. Out of which they plan to run the ship if possible. But go on. And they let go the anchors and let them in the sea. Meanwhile, loosening the rudder ropes. Okay, that is the one that controls, okay? And they hosted the main sail, that one that goes up, so that the wind can drive it in the direction of the sail, okay? Uh, to the wind, and, uh, to, uh, and made for the, for the shore, okay? Going towards the, the, what, what they saw. But striking a place where two seas met, River Niger and River Benue. You know there'll be like cyclone in that place, you know? Okay. They ran the ship aground, and the prow struck fast, that's the front, and remained what? Immovable. But the star was being broken up by the violence of the waves, the back being broken up. Whose word is coming to pass now? I thought they said they were going to land the ship. When man is planning and God has spoken, forget them. He said, there's no worry, I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Well, what God has said concerning what is come to pass. God has ordained that through Nigeria, gospel should go to the ends of the earth. Yeah, and that destiny will be fulfilled. That purpose will carry out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The church is marching on and the gate of hell will not prevail. Hallelujah! It will not work. It will not work. It will not work. Why people under that prophecy? Before the storms arose, God has spoken. God has told us what shall be. And what God has spoken, that's what we come to pass. Let God be true. Let every man be a liar. Say amen to God. Bible says, in Romans chapter 3, Say, shall, if, let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. Romans chapter 3, I come back to this. Verse 3. Let, let me read it for you. Romans 3. Go there, go there. For what if some did not believe? 
What we tell them, we are going to prosper. What if somebody don't believe? We say this is the congregation of the mighty yes. assembly of the rich. What if some did not believe? We said we are coming out of this sickness that this sickness will not kill us. We are going to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. We said we are going to be around here for a very long time. What if some did not believe? As you are talking to them, they are doing like you. Look at that dreamer. You will reign. All of us will bow down to you. What if some did not believe? Look at the next slide. With their unbelief, made the faithfulness of God without effect? No. All that is important is for you, the of the prophecy, to agree with God. Other people's unbelief will not make the faithfulness of God of no effect. So, your unbelief, your sneering, me preaching and you dozing and not believing the word of God, doesn't bother me. Me sitting and declaring that the bomb will happen before we get there. All the bomb will happen after we live there. The bomb will not happen when we are there. That's what we believe. And the young man sits there and says, this boy never seen bomb before. It doesn't matter. We their own will make the faith of God of non-effect. No. It will not make the faithfulness of God non-effect. God will keep our going out and our coming in. From this time forth and forevermore. Our passions brighter and brighter. Onto a perfect day. And economy may be going backward, but we are going forward. Shall their own belief make the faithfulness of God no effect? No. Their own belief cannot let the, all the sailors gather, plan. It cannot make what God has said or to be of no effect. Let all three APC in hell on earth join with PDP in hell and on earth. They cannot make the purpose of God for Nigeria of no effect. They cannot. That's why we pray. We are not praying because we want to disturb God. We are praying because we trust in the faithfulness of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For if one son did not believe, with their own belief make the faithfulness of God no effect? He said, no, that's for Certainly, no. Certainly, what? No. Indeed, let God be true and every man why? It says, as it is written, that you may be justified in your word and may overcome when, when, when you are judged. God says so that when they come against me in judgment, I will say, look, I put myself faithful. Yes. Nobody can condemn me when it comes to my word. Yes. That is the reason. Say amen to that. Amen. Not because we are so good. So that the faithfulness of God cannot be contradicted at tell point. Yes. Wow. You understand what I'm talking about right now? Please be seated, everybody. Ooh. Look, 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 look at this. Go, go, go back to where we are reading. Go back to where we, where, where we stood up from. Look at what it says now. It says the ship we were broken up, right? Right now, we saw that the, the front has been stocked. The stand has been broken up already. This one is coming to pass. Despite their, their plan to go and find a way to... The word of God came to pass. That's why their expertise... The word of God is coming to pass. The next thing, look at this. And the soldier's plan, the soldier's plan was to kill the prisoners. But I thought God has said there shall be no loss of any life. Not their plan is to kill all of us. But they cannot succeed. Whatever you are saying right now, as, those are the things what has been. You go to office and somebody's trying to kill you. Somebody's trying to do something. Can they kill you? Are they the one that created you? And the soldier's plan was to kill the prisoners. Lest any of them should swim away and escape. We kill everybody, including Paul, who has a message and a, and a, and a plan for, for, for Rome. My God. Verse 43. What the centurion said by the centurion? Wanting to say Paul kept them from their purpose. May God raise somebody for you. Yes. And don't forget when God said no life shall be lost. He said for I have given to you. I have given to you the life of everybody. So the survival of Paul was the survival of everybody. So you can see right now for the sake of Paul everybody was saved. As the prophecy come to pass again. Yes. 
That's why he said what? I believe God. That it shall be unto me as it was told me. I believe God. Honestly, I believe God. That we will make a nonsense of billions. I believe God. That we will give up brand new cars. I believe God. That we will raise the dead on a regular basis. I believe God. That the blind will see that the lame will walk for the wheelchair. I believe God. That Nigeria will prosper again. I believe God. That it shall be unto me as it was told me. I agree that our children will prosper. They may be rebellious, rebellious right now, but they will preach the gospel. Yes. They will be mighty in the land. Yes. I believe God. Yes. That none shall be barren in the land. I believe God. Yes. That it shall be unto me as it was told me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Who? Glory be to God forever, man. What did you say, Paul? Get them from their purpose. I'll command that those who could swim should jump overboard first and go to the land. Can you imagine a centurion knowing that people could swim away? He said, No, don't worry. Let them jump and swim. Those who can swim. <laughs> and the rest. Look at it now. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Hallelujah. Amen. And the rest. Who could not swim? So, remember, they had moved close to the land. So, they don't have to swim too long. So God will more provision. So we are, your skill can express itself. So that if you go, if you go to swim for, swim for miles, you might not survive. But God brought them to a close to a place where they are gifting, could find expression. Can you see God working everything out? Yes. And the rest, those who cannot see, saw what? On boards. No, look, please, this board doesn't say good. This is what I'm saying. I love this one. So what? On planks. On pack up. Thank you. <laughs> Where did the plants come from? From the, from the ship that was broken up. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, even when God says, even when God says this has been broken up, there are, there are things God wants to use in that place for salvation. Let me tell you, somebody say, my company went down. Something will come out of that going down. That will connect you with your next place. Say amen to that. that that's what I'm trying to say. When God said there shall be a loss of the ship, that's something God was working out. Yes, sir. Say, there's a loss of the ship. No, the plants are going to be useful. Says others head onto the planks. All debris from the broken ship. Something to keep afloat. So everyone escaped to safely. No loss of life. The broken ship facilitated everything. The word of God is connected. Hallelujah. Everything is connected. Somebody said, I lost this. In that loss, you may not know, but there's something good in it. I'm telling you. Don't never, never, when, once you have committed your life to the hand of God, allow God. Don't, some of you worry too much. Just imagine they are struggling to save the ship. They are struggling to pass everything. It will not work. You are in the good hand. Let God work it out. Is somebody hearing me right now? Stop sweating. Stop worrying your life. God will work it out well and good. Say amen to that. He will work it well. He will work it everything out very well. Ah, may this thing dumb on your spirit. May it dumb on your spirit. You know some of you right now, eh? You know why some of you are, are, are for me? You are still managing your own life, one life. That is why. When you are not managing your wife, children, grandchildren, so you know, responsibility is expanding now. Yes. I tell you, that's when something has, let's say you have three, four, you are concerned with what's happening in this life, this life, this life, that life. Some of you don't know that parents is for a lifetime. Yes. Ah, you will know. It's a, it's a matter of time. Even when they marry, they are still your children. Yes. Even when they are 70, they are still your children. Yes. You'll be shocked. you wonder, let them go, they are old. Ah, oh, no, so. I, I'm sorry, I'm, oh, what is it? Uh, okay, it's easy to say. But in reality, ah, no, 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 no. I have seen people who've gone to her. Uh, they'll be going to their 60 year old son's house and be asking, Have you guys eaten? They'll be sending money there. After their time, they'll be saying, ah, What are you talking about? 
It's a lifetime. Some of you think because you are a woman, you are a mother. No, it's a, motherhood is a different lesson. Leave that one alone. Don't worry yourself. Just be moving. Remember that you have just been doing like this everywhere. Very soon, everything will drop. All of a sudden, I come. Just continue. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Don't worry. Be going to, you may be going to Baba and let, let them be polishing your finger five, five times a week. Time will call that. Time will even remember. When they say, ah, your, your weakness look like that of ostrich. You say, hey, it's true. Because what you are concerned about that time. Yeah. Then, when they now have their own children, yeah. it will spill over again. Yes, that's, that's why you, you, you go and see your dad. They will never ask of you. They are happy to see you. The next day they ask, they ask him for, how is Josh? How is so so? You are one, I'm here. They ask after me. How come? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Give me the scripture. We have agreed with God. <laughs> and the rest, some on board. Do you know how some of you escape? Some of you on board. Some of you holding on to the debris. But all of us will get to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, everyone. Say everyone. They all, all, what escaped safely to the land. God spoke something to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know when I begin to do my rapture series, this is, a, this is a picture of, of rapture. For those who go through tribulation. But at the end of the day, all of them will escape. They say, a Christian will go to hell. Where? Which hell are you? Which hell? We all escape. Whether through plank or through wanting or the other. Yeah. I don't forget. The plank represents the cross. Yeah. It's a wood. Yes, wow. As either you're holding to the debris, to the and as long as it comes from the came from the ship. Remember it was the same ship that God used for Noah now. Yes, sir. It has always represented salvation. To go to hell. You can't go to hell. I am not going to any hell anywhere. I am not lying to tell you possible. I can't go to hell. Which hell? Can you imagine this was hardly criminal, but everybody got there because of one Paul, because of one Jesus. Because of one Jesus. It's hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. because of one. Let's let's finish. Let's finish. All lies preserved. One don't come to pass. She broken up. It don't come to pass. The last one. Okay. Next verse. Chapter twenty-eight. Now, when they had what escaped. They found out that the, the island was called what? Oh, Didn't they say they were casted upon a certain island? Yes. They landed on an island. Without, without visa, they got there. <laughs> to the island of what? what? Oh. Malta. But it wasn't for anything. Remember, when they got there, the chief, the chief man of that same was sick. When Paul hid him, yeah. miracle broke out. So sometimes you are marrying a place. It's not that God has forgotten you. There is something you want to do in that place. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I'm an ambassador. God sent me here. You know what? Your company may not be paying well, but you are there as an ambassador. You may be living in the neighborhood. Oh, neighbor, we are what God, what am I doing here? What am I doing on this island? God sent me here. You may be in the family. What kind of crazy family am I? My brother is a lesbian. You say my brother is a lesbian. My brother is homo. My sister is a lesbian. My in-law is a marijuana, you know, and my other in-law is a go out of there. God, what am I doing here? I, don't, I want a better family. No, no. You are there on an errand. God sent you there for a purpose. You are not just neglected on an island. Are you hearing me right now? You are there carrying the message of God. You know, uh, you know how all this is started, how all things came to pass? Because at the beginning, somebody agreed with God. That is what I'm trying to tell you today. Yeah. Somebody say, yeah, it's so simple to say, I agree with God. It's so simple now. What comes out of it is so powerful. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yeah. It's so powerful. Yeah. People disagree with God, they've lost their lives. It's evidence is the Bible. I, can't, I don't want to go into that. It can cost people their lives. 
when you are, when, all for all my sisters here, when you are going for surgery, if you are, well, if you are going for surgery and you want to take out baby, baby, by CS, the last scripture that should be in your mind is life. Yes, sir. Don't let anybody yes. come around your bed. Yes. Talking, there was this medical error. The Nigerian, the doctor these days, they cannot be trusted. They are, tell the person your father. Yes, your father and your grandfather and his own father. Don't bring death around my table. Don't speak death around my table. Don't speak death around my bed. I don't want to hear. They may say you are too, too radical. You are too fearful. This is not fear. We are dominating our environment by agreeing with God. Are you hearing me? I shall not die. I will live and declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. With long life, will I satisfy you and show you my salvation? Disagree with sickness, disagree with poverty, disagree with depression, but agree with joy with God. Say amen to that. That's what I'm saying. Once you agree with God, the power of God is released on your behalf to work for you and perfect all that concerns you. Somebody says, My background is poor. Because you agree with that background, disagree. And agree with God. Yes. And God begin to work things out for you. Yes. Before you know it, you will be among the rulers of the land. Yes. May God bless and keep you. Yes. Cause his way to shine upon you. Yes. Give you peace, give you joy. Yes. May his name be glorified in your lives. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Shout and agree with God. Yes. No, 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 no. That is, that is too mediocre. Shout again. Say, I agree with God. I agree with God. Say with me, I believe God. It shall be unto me as it was told me. Hallelujah!